Welcome back everyone to a new game. Today we are playing the convenience store. So I'm assuming from the title, from what I read, we're working at a convenience store, working the midnight shift. I know what that's like. So, well, I feel like I have some sort of understanding of this game, personally, like from experience. But without further ado, we're just going to hop straight into the game and hope you guys stick around for it. It's time. I need to get ready for work. I have a mouse. Uh, I slept well. Changed it to my uniform. Yeah, let me get in my uniform real quick. I uh, probably shouldn't be going down here, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Unless this is the exit, is this the balcony? It's dark outside. My bad, my bad. Oh, never mind. She has this whole like whole floor herself. Pick up the flashlight. Give me the flashlight. All right, time to go to work. We are changed and we are off. I need to eat something, change, and grab a flashlight. So I changed. Got the flashlight. I need to eat. Warm it up. Hell yeah. And close that fridge. Uh, do it. Okay, I was just wondering how long this is going to eat. Eat Benito. Hell yeah, I want to eat Benito. I love Benito. Do you guys love Benito? I don't know what Benito is. I'm just going to assume like I do. Alright, off we go. Okay. I, where do I even work at? I don't even know what direction I'm supposed to go in. I'm going to assume I'm going the right way. Is there anyone following me by any chance? I, I'm paranoid as hell. I live over there. I think it's this way. I was gonna say, why don't you have a car, but you don't really need a car in this area. Okay, I am confused. If this is a town, why is there a huge wall blocking off everything? I have too many questions. Yo, I'm here for my shift. Oh God, you made it. Hmm? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge. You just crashed. No way! There was an old lady that says she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha ha. Dude, you should not be making jokes when I'm working the overnight shift, dude. You don't ever do that. Yeah, you better be sorry before I knock you out, bro. I want to take a moment real quick to look around the convenience store. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I'll be looking out and be like, oh, I rarely buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Austin Lee? Who's Austin Lee? What are you waiting for? Punch in? Man, I'll punch you! Don't rushing me. I still got five minutes before I punch in. You better wait. I hope a rush comes in and you gotta deal with all that. Oh, fine, I guess I'll punch in. I think some food are expired by the time you start of your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me, your manager? You should have taken it off yourself before I came in. Dog, you weren't gonna say buy or nothing? What if he gets robbed? Some Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, dude. Yo, welcome to the convenience store. What can I get for you, dog? I uh, come to the register when you're ready to go. I I got some stuff I gotta do. They ain't paying me enough to stand here and wave at everybody. Hell yeah. Where do I put all this stuff? Your what's popping? What can I get for you, dog? All right, let me see. You have a good one, G. I re got toes. I got toes. Need my toes. You already know. All right, so I gotta replace all this stuff. The shelf looks fine. The shelf looks fine. Take items off the shelf. Hell yeah. Punched out of my actual job to work. Another job. Fantastic. Fantastic. In all honesty, I'm off work. Who, pu who pulling up? Or was that just me? I think that was just me. Did someone come in? The door be bugging. So this is the back room where we restock the drinks and the cups. I'm assuming. No, 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 no. Close that shit. No, we do not tolerate going outside. Never go outside by yourself when you work overnight. Trust me. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. All right. Well, I guess I have to throw these in the trash. Safety wise, this is not safe at all. Because anything could happen when you're out there. So... The story that our co-worker just told us. Do you think that actually happened? Do you think someone was actually on that bridge? I don't know. It could be possible. Alright, I'm going outside. No one do... Oh, this is opening. I don't like that. Okay. Nothing can go wrong. Trash that food. Yeah. A la basura. Let me do a quick story time real quick. So when I was working overnight and I had to throw out trash one time. Like, I had trash bins that were similar to this, right? And when I... Right when I opened the door, like around right next to the trash bins, there was a homeless guy sleeping there. And it scared the shit out of me. I thought it was a dead body. But yeah, a little story time for you guys. Alright, I think we're good. 
Do I need to restock this stuff? I'm pretty sure I have to. Hey, it's a truck. Damn, my man pulled out 90 degree turn. Are you the truck? Is that truck delivery? Yo! What's poppin', bro? All right, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Hey, yo, dog, were you always there? I don't know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all by the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Yeah. If that joint happened to me, mm, nah, dog. It's kind of late for delivery, man, at this time, huh? We recently incorporated the system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. That is weird that it's directly towards me and not the company, but the gracias, I guess. Hold up. What? $13 an hour night shift. This is the reason why I'm here. Damn. Damn, you are better than me. I'll tell you that. Then again, I don't know what the currency and how money works of wherever the hell I am, but that is wicked. 13 the hour is wicked. Can't be chilling around here if you haven't bought anything, dog. Um, if you don't leave, I'm trespassing you. Bring me food. Or you will receive eternal punishment. I, 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 I. My bad, G. My bad. I didn't mean it. I didn't know you were hard like that. I didn't know I was hard like that. What? Take it home. Yeah. No, wait. Fuck. I don't want to take it home. Fuck. Why am I vibrating? I uh, want to take it home. I wanted to help the homeless dude out because now I think he's going to come after me. There's a VHS with my name on it. A VHS directly shipped to my name. Now, if this isn't the grudge, I don't know what is. Right, Mr. Mouse? I appreciate you, Doug. This better not be no, like, seven-day shit. All right, let's watch this tape. Let's see what's so special about this tape. I was going to get a drink of out of my cup which is weird i have an odd feeling that that is um that was that corner right that we saw on the cctv man honestly if i was you i would have just quit so is my character just not going to question the fact that we just saw some creepy cctv footage and you don't want to report it to the police or anything like that let's go to work i guess first night what do you mean first night what do you mean first night? Close my door. I can't leave my door open. Why is it so dark? Why is it darker than normal? Oh, hell no. Nah. nah, get your ass to work. Dude, I would not even show up to work. Oh, this is creepy. I don't even know where I'm at. I don't even know where I'm at, dog. I don't even remember the way over there. I can't see nothing. <sighs> Bro, that gave me more chills than normal. Yo, my man. You want to explain to me why that whole town is blacked out right now? Dog, uh, I just came in to tell you that I'm putting my two weeks in, actually. And, um, yeah, fuck you. So I heard you reported the doors would open on their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. I thought they were just bugging out. So we got a guy to check the sensors, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist. I mean, not really. And all honestly, it happens everywhere. I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real, after all. <laughs> Ghost might not be real to you, but man, people be there be some wild people out here. Would you please punch in? See, that's the way you're supposed to ask me to punch in. But no, I still got 30 minutes left before on my clock, so yeah. <laughs> Let's see what my manager left me. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. That sounds like the store's problem. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. Someone opened the garbage bin yesterday. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. Did you get rid of the rodents? Bruh, my man trashed the bins. No, 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 but in the VHS, he was probably around. You guys are probably can't see because I'm pointing at the screen right now. But So he was around, around that corner or the other corner. And that's how he was filming. So whatever. I guess I have to deal with it because of course I have to. Let's punch in. Let's get this bread. Oh, it's just a grandma. Yo, Graham Graham, what you doing out here? Oh, never mind. She pulled up with the Maserati. What's this? What's this? Oh, is this like the pesticide? Die, you little shit. Alright, how many of you out here? 
too. Yo, I'm a killer with this joint. You tell me the other guy couldn't get to it. Hey, yo, there was someone definitely filming around here. Better not get that. I definitely better not get that on camera. I, I gotta hurry up and do this because grandma's waiting for me. For lottery tickets or whatever. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beers and a pack of cigarettes? Hurry up. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet. Next time you ask someone, uh, uh, personal me, someone... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the type of shit I'd be saying. Give me a second. Yeah, give me a second. All right. So you gonna pay? Hey, damn! Why are you so demanding, bro? I mean, it is kind of my fault because I wasn't behind the register. I just scanned this joint. Hey, yo, Graham, Graham, you straight? Where's Ken Coon? You know where Ken Coon is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Huh? Damn, she got a turbo on that joint. Go ahead, Grandma. Like, bro, who keeps coming in and out, bro? I'm trying to do my job. Oh, damn. I gotta check the cams real quick. See, my manager checked the cameras and he'd be seeing stuff like. I knew I wasn't bugging. I knew I wasn't bugging. I'm gonna replay that right now for you guys to see. But I saw something. Something right here in this corner. Oh my god, I had chills down my spine. Yeah, found you. Oh, that's six. Get your ass back in. Get your ass back in. Don't worry about anything. Oh well, we finished what we had to do. <sighs> Nothing like soothing music to relax your nerves after this goddamn shift. That was a creepy shift. To the delivery man here. Yo, what's poppin', dog? Yo, my man, let me tell you real quick. I saw a child. Why you look so angry at me, dog? I'm sorry, dog. I didn't mean to disrespect you, OG. You know the unstoppable trend of on ordering everything online? Anyways, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. A package here, dog. Uh, give me a sec. Is it this joint? Alright, OG, I think it's this one. Get package? Sure. I wish I checked the package. Yo, yo, wait, 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 dog, 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 don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me, bro, take me with you, dog, I don't want to work here no more, can I work for you, UPS, and hey, I'll mail some mail, I'm down for whatever, I'm down if you down. Why does this have to happen to me? This game is so suspenseful, which is like a really good thing. How you guys been? I've been doing well, man, look at me, I'm working at a convenience store, just got 13 the hours, you know, toast to that, guys. Why can't I just leave it for my manager? They get paid enough for it. You know who doesn't? Me. I don't get paid enough for it. That's okay. Oh. Woo. Second night. It's raining outside. Why does my girl want to go to work? Woo, look at me and my pretty little umbrella. I'll be there in a second. Give me a second, dog. Getting ready for work. You're just going to open my door like that? Like you own it? Respectfully, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that, dog. All right, whatever. Let's, let's watch it. All right, let's watch it. Yes, watch closely. Let's see what it is. Okay, new location maybe. That's weird. I don't know what that is. This is like ideal for um, a murder. Just, just throwing that out there. If you wanted to get murdered, work overnight in the rain at night, at, in the dark. I believe I know where I'm going. Yeah, everything's muscle memory now. Look how good I am. I'm such an amazing employee. I'm such an amazing worker. Let's just get to work. I don't want to ever look behind me as I look behind me. <laughs> uh, where's my coworker? Maybe he's in the back. Ayo, hey, dog, you here? I see a new interactive item. I haven't even punched in and I'm already working. Get me messed up all the way. There's a box here. Alright, so there's items here for me to restock. Hey! Yo! Who locked me in here? No! 
Nah, this isn't right. Yo! Yo! Oh my god, I fucked up big time. This is what my dumbass gets for being nosy. Oh. Who the fuck locked me in here? Who the, who the, who the, who did it? Who did it? Bro, I haven't even punched in. Give me a second. <gasps> Fucking hell, what the fuck were you doing in there, dog? No, 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 let me talk to you real quick. Did you lock me? Someone's been sending me VHS tapes and someone just locked me in the back room. The stocking room. That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flight. Hmm, it's probably just a prank. I doubt it. it's anything. But did you, are you the one who locked me in? Let me punch in real quick before it, I, I, I did all that just for me not to get paid. Some products are missing from the shelves. Anyways, keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock by tomorrow morning, your manager. My manager would be bugging out. I'm telling you that right now. Give me a second. Before I help these customers, give me a second. Y'all fucking saw that. Y'all fucking saw that. Um, Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Your boss seems desperate and keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but the pay. But he pays me well, so you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check outside units and head right out. Um, dog, I'm I'm telling you right now, dog. Just be careful, cause there's something out there, dude. I'll check on him a little bit later. I gotta stock up on these shells. I don't need my ass getting fired. Dog, I need to understand who was the one who locked me in here. Someone locked me in here. Can we? Can the manager check? I should probably warn him, but I don't get paid enough for that. <laughs> That's the update, homie. My man, you dropped your tool. I'm not checking that out. That's what you guys think. These uh, chips, this chips. Y'all want some chips? You're welcome to the convenience store, dog. What can I get for you? Oh, my bad. My bad, OG. Welcome to the convenience store, ma'am. Respectfully. Restock that joint. Alright, that's another shelf that's restocked. Hey, how you doing, man? What can I get served for you? Scanner. Um, can I help you? Hey. Are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on the midnight shift alone? That is what I'm saying. Always have at least two people working on the same shift overnights. That is what I'm saying, ma'am. Thank you. I should be working with you. So you have no choice. Well, there we go. at least I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Appreciate you, girl. You a real one. And if I survive because of this charm, I'm working for you, dog. Oh, it goes right here. All right, all right, all right. restock that joint. Now, let me hold this wrench real quick. I'll bop someone in the head with this joint. Say I won't. Why are the toilet acting up? Nah, bro, that's some ghost shit. My gullible ass. Why is it always why is it always my gullible ass? I have a wrench now. I hope they understand that I have a wrench. Yo, shut up! Bruh, someone came in here on oh God and ruined the shelf. My boss is gonna be pissed. Who's here? It better be my manager. Cause I'm about to put my two weeks in. Hey yo, whoever in here, you better get bopped, bruh. You better get bopped. Think this is a game? Nah, fuck that. I'll put my two weeks in, bro. Fuck this game. Pick up the talisman. Open AC. Yeah, let me fix that joint. I'll do it myself. I don't even get paid extra for this. I don't even get overtime. Scam. I got a key. Fuck, man. Fuck. I have, to, I have to see it through, my boy. What's out here? Let's drop that. Exercise the door? Fuck yeah, exercise the door. Is that my coworker? Oh fuck, was that my coworker? Let's close the door. My manager? Why is the number four on the wall? Why is there a window? Oh fuck, I'm not here. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm trying to... Oh, I'm so going to jail. I'm going to jail. Oh, 
Yo, chill the fuck out. Oh, 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 you fucking moved your head. Oh, 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 what the fuck is going on? Oh, I'm, I'm so gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. This is it. This is it. This is it. There's nothing for me to do. So fucked. <laughs> I'm so fucked. <laughs> Dog, I don't want to go back to work. I put my two weeks notice in. It's about to be a two second notice, bro. I don't want to fucking do this. <sighs> Shit. Damn it. I'm all out of Red Bull. Oh, that was what was in my cup, so just for people to know. It's still 11.35 for some reason. Maybe I'm in purgatory. Maybe I'm just in hell. Maybe I died. What if the woman or the man that fell off the bridge was actually me? And I'm just living in a limbo. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? It fucking better be, bro. Fucking hell. I didn't even get paid for that dream. Got me messed up all the way. VHS. Give me a second. I didn't remember you. Alright, let's see what this is. Uh, what's that? Is that a bed? No, it's the shed. It's the shed. Like, this is my third or fourth shift in a row. Like, dude, I've been doing overtime this week. I'm stressed out. I don't want to be here. It's too dark all the time. I don't know why I couldn't get the morning shift or why I couldn't get the second shift. Someone else can do with all this BS. Not me. Make me the general manager of this building so I can shut it down, please. <laughs> Let's just get to work. Look at that building. So isolated. Can someone please put lights around the building? Do you guys not get the fear of getting robbed? Because I get the fear of getting robbed all the time. Okay, so I learned my mistake. We are not going back there before I punch in. Yo, dog. No, no. I'm punching in before I do all this. I'm getting paid for this BS. My coworker could be anywhere. He can't leave until I'm here, so he's probably in the locker again trying to scare me. Let's just check. No signs of him. Where's my punch card? How am I supposed to punch in? Oh. <laughs> you can't get a normal shift. This is just another day in Ohio. Let me get my, I don't care. Shut the door. I'll stay in this nightmare. I'll stay here. <sighs> no, this is really Five Nights at Freddy's. Yo, Shorty, what you doing? Wait, is that, are those TVs? We sell TVs now? Oh, you don't make noise either. Okay. So, one of these TVs have to be the one to um, not make noise. Alright, seems like we're just gonna have to go through every single TV. I thought this was a convenience store, not Best Buy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, give me a second. One. Two. Three. And she looked at this one, I think. I don't hear a room, room. I can't check my camera. You hear that screaming? That's a noise complaint. We got a noise complaint. Come out with your hands up. Oh, it's just a girl. What's up, Shadi? What you doing down here? Ooh, shit, that's creepy. It's looking creepy. What was that noise, though? Oh. Oh, she's gone. Oh, I'm back at the Mega Mart. Oh, time, time to go back to work like nothing happened, I guess. Alright, oh, that's not cool. I can't even go over the counter. Wow, wow. Can I go outside? What's that? Mm, it seems like that's my only choice right now. Fourth night. 
I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'll have a choice. Deliver it back. Oh, it seems like I have a choice. Watch. Throw it away. Or trash. Fuck that. Send it. Send it off to someone else. Throw it away. Damn. I get a choice? Okay, that's fucking wicked. Well, I don't want to deal with the curse, so I'll send it to someone else. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! I don't want to deal with that shit. I'll let someone else deal with it. Not my problem. Ugh. I don't want to be the one dealing with all this. Give it to my coworker since he likes messing around. Since he likes to mess around. Oh, God. That was some intense lore, right? Oh, God. That is a horrific and tragic story. Uh, and thank you for you guys for reading that instead of me reading it because I am a horrible reader. Um, I guess that's the end of the game. But I did see that this is just one of the endings. Um, I did have two other options to finish this game. There, uh... It was either to throw away the tape or to watch it, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to that part and see what those choices lead me to do and see if there's anything different, alright? So I'll see you guys in that part. Alright, I went through all four nights again just to get to this point because apparently there's no checkpoints in this game, but that is okay because we're finally here. So originally we sent the tape back to the sender. And we got the entire backstory of what had happened. But I want to know what kind of happens if I choose between watching the tape or throwing it in the trash. So we're going to go put it in the tape recorder right now and see what happens. Sure, yes. Let's see what's so special about this tape. Was that my house? That was my house, wasn't it? Yeah, it's probably just bugging. Uh, is that me? Sleeping? It's just, I did all that for some feet. Uh, never mind. Hello? It's still 11.35. I can't move. Flashlight. Um. I, I can't move. Sleep paralysis? I can't move. Sleep paralysis? That's some real shit, man. I never had it, but that's some real shit. I don't feel comfy. I don't like these noises. Oh, I regret playing the tape. Oh, oh, yo, get the fuck off my bed. Yo, she, did she just sniff me? She was like, <laughs> dumb dogs. <laughs> did I just die? Did I die? Did the curse get me? I guess that's it. No. Oh. Well, I guess that's the convenience store. Well, that was the convenience store. 
So the first ending was if we sent it back, we end up learning the entire backstory of the tape, what actually happened in the comedian story, all of the lore is in that part. If we throw away the tape or we watch it, we get sniffed to death by the ghost lady that we saw. This game didn't really rely on jump scares. It's the suspense that I hate. I think I hate suspense more than the jump because I just want it to get it over with. But suspense just keeps building. It just it, it grabs a hold on me and doesn't want to let go. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.